Mr. President, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I thank the gentleman for yielding and uh, come here tonight uh, one more time. Uh, I'm a very short-term member of the United States Senate, uh, only about three months, but every time I have spoken on the Senate floor, I've talked about the importance of reigning in spending, the crippling nature of our national debt, and the belief that if we don't resolve these issues, that the future of our country is at stake. Uh, and it's really one of the primary motivations I have for serving in this Congress is to see that we turn this country around for the benefit of our children and grandchildren. And I think Kansans would say that it's time for all members of Congress to come together and to fund the, the government. Uh, a shutdown demonstrates once again how, how we lack the ability or the desire to just use some common sense and to reach a common goal. A primary function of a Congress is to see that we appropriate the necessary funds to provide for government. And today, it seems to me that we have come to the point in which this issue needs to be rapidly resolved. We are down to just uh, a few billion dollars, and certainly a billion dollars is a lot of money. And it's a lot of money to Kansans, it's a lot of money to me. But we need to resolve this issue so that we can move on to the more dramatic and important issue that we face as members of the Senate, as we face as American citizens, that being next year's budget uh, and the future of additional spending down the road. But tonight, in, a, in addition to saying, let's resolve this issue, let's uh, continue to fund the government, let's not pursue the strategy of a shutdown, I am here to express my genuine concern about the tactics that seem to be ongoing today in which we, as the senator from Alabama suggests, are holding hostage our servicemen and women and their pay. We've had a lot of discussion here in, in Washington, D.C. about who's an essential government employee. Uh, I would tell you there can be no question but what our servicemen and women are essential government employees and they will be working regardless of the consequences, regardless of the decisions that are made here about the so-called shutdown. And from my view, it makes absolutely no sense. In fact, it is immoral to ask our servicemen and women to serve and to serve in harm's way and have to worry about whether or not the paycheck that feeds their families. And many of our servicemen, in fact, most of our servicemen and women live month to month, live paycheck to paycheck. And the idea that while they're serving and sacrificing away from family, that they would have the additional concern about whether or not the paycheck is going to arrive and be deposited in their account uh, seems to me to be something beyond the pale, something that we could never expect from a Congress of the United States of America. And so I'm here one more time to say, yes, absolutely, let's get spending under control. The idea that we cannot go back to 2008 spending levels plus inflation, we can do that. No one should believe that we cannot accomplish that goal. And no one should be using the servicemen and women, their paycheck, their service to our country as hostage for the idea of whether or not this government is shut down. Resolve this issue now and make certain we resolve it in a way that no member of our armed services or their family is harmed by the decisions what we make. Uh, this is important decision. It's about the future of our country, but the immediate concern is whether or not our service men, men and women understand that we value their service and we will take every step to make certain that they are not harmed by the political inaction, the inability of us in Washington, D.C. to resolve the issue of the continuing resolution. I yield back.